Amazing games like Boneworks require a ton of work, systems, and assets, which can be pretty hard to replicate when you're working alone or with a small team. Luckily for us, we have the Unity Asset Store and a ton of assets that can help bridge that gap of resources and save us a ton of vital time. Now, it probably won't shock you, but the Unity Asset Store is having their spring sale right now. And if you want to pick up some pretty cool game development swag and help me out a little bit with my affiliate links found below, then I think we both can come out ahead of this. Hell, you know what? Even if you don't want to use my affiliate links, you should check out the sale and maybe pick up something that can help you out in the future. Now, if you've watched me for some time, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of optimization, and in VR development, I think it's pretty high on the list of importance. That's why I'm going to tell you about the Amplify Imposter asset. Now, Valen pointed this one out to me, and I freaking love it. First, let's talk about what imposters are. So imposters are, is actually a clever technique used to optimize your scenes by replacing complex 3D objects with simplified 2D versions of them. Now, these 2D versions look identical from the player's perspective, and this means you can still get some really great visuals without straining for performance. Now, Amplify Imposters is a pretty sweet tool that automates the creation of these 2D stand-ins directly into Unity. It's also compatible with Unity's standard pipeline and also the universal render pipeline, which makes it pretty versatile for most projects. I mean, just look at this example. The original objects has, what, 27,000 triangles? And then it reduces it down to six. You know how insane that is for optimization? If you're telling me that I can take some of my objects and reduce it down to just six triangles for 30 bucks, uh, I would consider it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I already did. I bought this. You know how Boneworks is able to make your body move dynamically with all your movements and the arms twist? Well, if you want something like that, then you'll want to check out Final IK. This asset makes the process of implementing inverse kinematics a ton easier. If you don't know what inverse kinematics is, it's a technique used in animation to determine the joint parameters, like rotation and position, of a skeletal structure based on the desired position or orientation of the end effectors, such as hands and feet. Long story short, you move your arms around in VR and, well, then you can get the arms to move on the model and also your feet. Now, when it comes to inverse kinematics, I would say Final IK is probably the leader in terms of inverse kinematic libraries that you can get on Unity. It has a ton of different assets that you can use and handle all your IK needs. And specifically for us, it has a VR IK tool that will, well, dynamically move around and move the characters around. Looks pretty good. Have you ever heard of Dead and Buried? They actually use this in their arena game. And look at how they're able to dynamically mimic all the users moving in real space. Pretty wild. So if you're looking to have your VR characters move dynamically and have the models move easily, then I think this is probably an indispensable tool for you. I know I don't want to handle all the inverse kinematics, so yeah, I bought it. Hey, remember how I said I suck at art? Well, I wasn't lying. I do. And so I love buying art assets. And one of my favorite creators is actually Sinti Studios. And throughout the sale, they are going to have a ton of different packages for sale. And I just suggest that you at least pick up one because they always look pretty good in VR. And it's always great to use for prototyping. I mean, I've even seen games that use these for their whole production build. You've probably noticed that in my recent tutorials, I've actually started using some of these assets just because I want to check them out. And I need to check out. I've, I've bought too many of these. I have bought so many of these, so I need to use them in literally every project because I need to get through them and see what's in them. Now, the next ones I'm going to mention are just, I think I have to mention them because it might be illegal not to mention them in any VR asset video because, well, they're really well made and honestly worth buying. The first one I'm going to mention is the VR Interaction Framework. This is probably the most well-sold interaction framework on the Unity Asset Store, and that's for good reason. This is probably one of the best, if not the most feature complete, interaction toolkit on the Asset Store. You can do a lot of things with this. I mean, it creates a pretty robust and immersive interaction quickly and efficiently. Uh, it's designed to help you implement common VR functionalities without having to start from scratch. So this framework kind of comes packed with a bunch of pre-built interactions, including grabbing, throwing, pushing buttons, and using levers and dials. Each interaction is really well polished and optimized for VR. You can shoot guns, you can load clips, you can blow up boxes, and oddly enough, you can fly around. 
So if you want a feature complete interaction framework, this is the one for you. Now I'm going to talk about another interaction framework called Hurricane VR. Now this is very, very similar to the interaction framework I just talked about, but this one focuses a little more on physics. So the focus of Hurricane VR is it's a toolkit designed to provide robust and realistic physics based interactions. And it does a pretty good job at that. You know, when you interact with these objects in the VR world, you want them to behave like they do in real life and this does a pretty good job if you want to grab an object with two hands well it has it you want to stab things like in blade and sorcery hello mr shanks guns bows and arrows pretty cool inventory system doors and keypads the hurricane system kind of has it all just like the interaction framework it's just a really really cool interaction framework i mean personally i think the stabbing is really cool i i like the stabbing now this next one is called the vr physics player controller and it's actually made by the same people who make hurricane vr so the vr physics player controller is kind of a nice tool to have if you're looking to have a natural movement system in your vr so if you want people to crouch down or if you want to climb on things, this is how you would pull that off. You can kind of try to climb up ramps, but if they're too steep, it won't let you up them. You can swing through bars, and also there's looks like there's a pretty cool zip line you can use that would 100% give me motion sickness, which, cool. Now, this next guy is actually very, very special. If you want to have strong control over your hands and interactions and grabbing objects, then you should take a look at Auto Hand because this thing allows you to customize how you pick up objects and customize your hands to those objects. If you need 100% precise control, then this is the one for you. If you want to make sure a player picks up an object and it feels like they picked it up dynamically, then yeah, try out Auto Hand. If you have a game where grab mechanics or manipulating say like a puzzle piece or something and you have intricate things that you need to do as you're grabbing yeah auto hands the one and oddly enough they have something i really enjoy stab climbing look at that guy climb love this so there you go let me know in the comments if any of these assets sound cool or if you even buy them and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye